So I mentioned Metro East. They actually can't even wait until this building is built. Um, they, are, they moved in on a temporary basis into the old Rockwood Community Office Building where the tech shop will eventually go uh, and have already started delivering programming to the community, uh, teaching uh, classes, uh, digital literacy classes uh, to folks in the community. So I'm going to show you a really quick 90-second video of some of the work that they're doing there, and then I'll, I'll continue on. So we're here out at Rockwood DIY, and our goal is to bridge the digital gap. So um, the issue that this program is trying to address is uh, the issue of the digital divide, which refers to the people who don't have the skills and access to technology in order to be um, full participants in society. Uh, every Thursday night we show up and they complete five weeks of training and uh, upon completion of this program they get a free computer from FreeGeek. We just spend the night um, set, setting up their computers, uh, teaching them how to use the operating system, all of that stuff. I learn a lot about computers. Like today we had the uh, parents and teachers conference and it's right at the time where the teacher asked us where we had a computer at home. And I said, wow, yeah, we just got one. I mean, the first class last week we were teaching people how to use a mouse um, and we were doing it in a way that was respectful to them. We want to make sure that this is a very inclusive environment and welcoming to any person no matter what their um, barriers to attending class sessions are. So a lot of kids come to our workshops because we offer childcare. Everybody was friendly. We feel like they're our, our family. I want to do something better. I have, I have my chance now. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, I, and I really want to thank Marty for his leadership. This was really he, his idea and his team said, we, we want to do this and, and we don't want to wait until the building is built. We want to start now. And this is the kind of story we need to be telling about Rockwood. This is, this is really impactful stuff to the people on the ground who are living there. And this is quite literally, it's not an exaggeration to say, this is changing lives for people who uh, really are already starting out at a disadvantage. So, this kind of stuff, I think, is, is really what this project is about and why I'm so excited to, to be working on it with, with great partners.